So we've just covered a about a nine kilometer trek from Margate through to Port Chepston and this is where we are now but the traffic is next level <laughs> non-stop yeah and it's a large town hey yeah it's a big place so it's a it's a big place and it is quarter to five in the afternoon <laughs> <laughs> So we have um, have no option but to pick a few places only and then move on. Yeah. Because we're not staying over here either. Yep, and it's light shedding and the traffic light's not working. So Okay. Because I have to travel so fast, I'm gonna do it through the windshield. Yes, um, I read that it is the administrative, educational, industrial and commercial centre for Southern Natal. Wow. So that will explain why it is so busy. Okay. In 2011 already, the town's population was more than 35,000. Okay. We're 12 years later, so you can imagine. Yeah. It's a very big place. There's a Baptist. And Baptist Church. Look at the Baptist Chapel next yeah. door. Whoa. And there's the Dutch Reformed South Coast Church. Big church. Yeah. We won't get close to it though. This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> next level. We have a traffic officer directing traffic. Yes. Every light you have to stop. We just had to take a turn off. Yeah, I had to get it's off of that crazy. road. Wild. Totally wild. This looks interesting. Yeah. I wonder what this is. This is um, more of an industrial area. Yes. Ever present SARS. <laughs> I have to tell you they drive rather wild yeah. in on the south coast now. No, they do. Is my experience. There's not much regard for road rules which makes it difficult. rather difficult, yeah. Look at this. How is this bridge? <laughs> and this this is a ri another river mouth. It's situated on the mouth of the Mzimkulu River, the largest river on the KwaZulu Natal south coast. Crazy. Fantastic. Now, this is where the train used to run over there. There's the tracks on that on side. On that side? Yeah. Alongside the vehicles? Yes. What would I not give to see that? Yeah, but you can see it doesn't function anymore. No, I know. But you know what I mean? It's a pity. I would have loved to have seen that. Oh, the tracks are still there. There are the tracks. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're clear. I have to turn around somewhere. How do you spell Port Chepston? C R A Z Y. Crazy. <laughs> At five in the afternoon yes. during load shedding. I'm oh, sorry, it's crazy. Phew. Crazy. We saw a sign. Yes. That said, Port Shepston Station. Okay, I argued with you. You were <laughs> correct. A station by the sea. Oh, this is so cool. 
How does one get there? So cool. That's the road. We I need. will find that road now. Oh, it's no more. No, it's not. This goes under. Yes, the road. through to the other side. And you know what's amazing for me? That it's all rusting and falling apart, but it hasn't been ransacked. True. It says the uh, client center. <laughs> that sign is still there. I just love to get to the other road because that goes right in front of it. So let's turn around and go and find it. And it's so small. How <laughs> cute, man. Chill. We must come back to it now. Yes, definitely will. Oh, there we are. There's a train. <gasps> we can drive in here. looks new. Oh, he's stopping me. <laughs> we were stopped from recording. We're not allowed to film the trains. <laughs> the gentleman says that that train has been stationary since 2021 when they had floods. Okay. He says they suspect they will still pull it to Durban or another place. Okay. And he says no trains run here anymore. Well, it's clearly visible that it doesn't rain anymore. Well, I thought that one does. But it looks in good condition, as if they keep it maintained. No, I must be honest, I thought that one does. So we'll come back to the lighthouse. Yes, oh, I just okay. want to finish this route. How beautiful. Listen, they have the foamiest waves <laughs> I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Look how gorgeous this is. I can't get over that you mainly see white. That's like so, they're breaking all the time. Yeah. It's the Ugu District Municipality, UGU. Okay. This must have been some beachfront centre. Oh, takeaway. Restaurant and lounge stages. Oh, there we go. But it's clearly not operational. Do you think I'm correct? I think you're correct. Listen, I want to turn back and go to the lighthouse because yeah, we're coming to houses and then we can come back to these houses. Yeah, and uh, it is getting darker. Yes. The lighthouse is flashing. Well, with these waves, it has to warn them from as far away as possible. <laughs> That's for sure. And these rocks. What 
looks like there have been quite a few shipwrecks along this coast, eh? Well, it looks like, I wonder if it's called the Wild Coast. The waves are wild too. Yes. I saw that uh, walkway that we saw the gentleman come out from at the station. Yes. Just came out there at the back. Down here. Whoa. This is quite Whoa. steep, eh? <laughs> Look, Look how at beautiful this. this is. This is a pretty lighthouse. It's a there. pretty lighthouse, babe. Wow, it is stunning. Here are all the other escapees from the traffic. <laughs> yes, all run away. It's very interesting how this town got established. Can I quickly tell you? Yes. It was founded in 1867 when marble was discovered near the Mzimkulu river mouth, which right is here. Yeah. Okay. And is named after Sir Theophilus Shepston of the Natal government of the 1880s. <laughs> How <laughs> cool is that? Marble. Is fantastic. Eh? Fishing. This is a great spot we found. Very nice. Little walkway. Oh, that bridge is stunning. Eh? Mm. I would like to know how old it is. I can try and see if I can find. So that's the Umzimkulu River Bridge. 
Very beautiful. Stunning. I just want to go there to that pier. Is that a pier? Very yeah. short. Yeah, well, yeah. that's cool. Do it. Look at the moon. It's almost full moon. Yeah. That's cool, eh? I like it. I like it. I think this is for the fishermen. There was something out there too that's washed away. I'm, I'm sure, like I pointed out earlier, those columns over there and all of this stuff lying over here, there must have been some kind of a pe bigger pier or something out here because it's all washed away. Well, if I look at the ocean today with no wind or any inclement weather at all, then um, I can easily believe yeah. it. The sea is rough here. And something else I'd like to say is, is that while I'm walking around, my wife does loads of research correct <laughs> and you know I found a an exceptionally beautifully written piece about okay. the lighthouse which I would quickly like to read because I'm sure you'll find it interesting okay let me go and stop right here because it's such a nice lighthouse it is and now we can see it flashing clearer yeah I don't want to go any closer than this all right let me go back a bit so I know you say I read and talk too fast sometimes, but this is going to be very fast. Okay. The Port Shepston Lighthouse was retired of its duty in 1905 and replaced with an 8 meter high circular cast iron tower, which is now equipped with a radio beacon erected at the Umzikulu River mouth. Visible from 26 nautical miles, this fully automated Port Chepston lighthouse runs off a main supply with a backup double diesel alternator set. A revolving electric light with a power of 1,130,000 CD flashes once every six seconds over the Pondo land waters that treasure hunters believe keeps the peacock throne of the moguls estimated value in excess of six million pounds submerged wow painted black and white in checkered blocks this unique lighthouse challenges the deep waters in a perpetual game of nautical chess the risk of losing a shipping piece to the oceans deep outsmarted by early warning and seafaring strategy ah. and a cd is a candela which is the unit for luminous intensity. Okay, cool. Oh, I love that. It's so beautifully written. We are losing light fast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 10 to 6. But like, I'm super chuffed about the lighthouse. It's oh, beautiful. Yes. It is nice. 
I love the checkerboard. Lighthouse. That sunset is amazing, but it's just too dark. I can't see the houses anymore. Yeah, I know. We'll have to skip those. Yeah. I don't think so. I think um, we got a, yeah, a little late and then with the, all the traffic and everything like yes. that we lost a lot of time. So We've seen what we can see. I know there's a lot we haven't seen but... The lighthouse and the river bridge were amazing. And I'm good old, with that. The old station was great. Yes. Me, no. All good. It was good to see Port Chepston again. Too worried if we miss out on anything. Yeah. Because that'll always be the case. We'll never get to see anything. Nope. But it's just nice to get to a place and see things. The lighthouse was very pretty. Chipston, great stuff. 